Kia ora koutou. In 2004, Te Hora Whenua Library Trust ran an audit of the arts, culture and heritage resources in their area. They wanted to assess the extent of the resources currently held in the district and the safety of those resources for the future. They found that there was lots of material out there. Only about half of it was going to be donated to collecting institutions and that there was heaps of information still inside people's heads. They also found that storage of those materials were, were, was a real issue and especially they found that people really, really care about those resources. It could be fairly safely assumed that this problem is repeated in many, many areas across New Zealand. Shoe boxes under the bed, stories still in heads, vast, undescribed private collections that would reflect our community's culture and heritage, but are not accessible. So the Trust decided to do something about it. And that's when Ketty came to be in 2007. It's an open, so open source project that enables communities to upload and share local digital content and tell stories with it. It's a tool that enables communities to build, rally together and learn digital skills to share their stories with the rest of New Zealand and the world. The offering grew in 2008 with the support of National Library's Aotearoa People's Network Kahoroa service. This provides free broadband access through libraries in Marae across New Zealand. And as part of this, community, community kitty were provided to 19 New Zealand public libraries and marae. And so from 2008 to 2015, there are now 25 kitty run by marae, community organisations, historical trusts and public libraries. That's over 85,000 items that have made their way out of the shoe boxes under the beds and are now accessible to the world. But there's a problem. Unfortunately, the Keti open source community did not build to, to a sustainable level, and this means that the technology is, has not kept up. So those 85,000 digital items are at some risk, and that collecting and sharing of community digital content in New Zealand is not happening as effectively as it could be. Action needed to be taken, and this was, came up in NDF last year. So in February, a group of us got together, um, a group of, from several organisations got together to take some action. They came up with a vision to deliver a collaborative community repository service to collect, protect and share local digital content in a sustainable way. They agreed on a prototype approach. So we've got Digital New Zealand, which helps make New Zealand digital content easy to find, share and use. What if we were to combine the service with the power of the APNK Kitty and test out what an updated collaborative community repository might look like? Such a prototype would need to include the basic Kitty functionality. So to giving, the prototype would need to give communities space to share their items and stories and show that these things belong to those communities. There needs to be a way to upload content that's been digitised by those communities. The service would need functionality that supports people to tell, to tell community stories using a range of different content. And it needs metadata correction and enrichment, a way to edit and update the descriptive information that might be added. What might this look like if we were to build these new functions into the Digital New Zealand service? So I'm going to show you a prototype. It demonstrates functions one to three. We're still to work on the metadata enrichment. This is Harley. He might be a little bit familiar to some of you. He lives in Tauranga, and his great-grandfather co commanded Q ships in World War I. Harley has photo albums of memorabilia from his great-grandfather, who commanded a particular Q ship called the Hel Helgeland. So Harley does a bit of a search in Digital New Zealand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here he is doing the search. This is searching Digital New Zealand, and he discovers a range of Relevant content, he has a little bit of a scoot through. And he finds something that catches his eye. Oh, and he sees, hmm, this is part of the Tauranga community. And it's been contributed by someone in Tauranga. Here's the Tauranga community. There's a range of stories, images and videos. There's some stuff that's been added recently, some stuff that's quite popular, and a range of stories. 
that people have put together. This is all using uh, live data from the API in Digital New Zealand. He notices there's a way to add items to the community, and he happens to have digitised one of those photos in the photo album that I showed, you saw in the photo before, and here he is uploading it. And adding a little bit of data, metadata, descriptive information to help people find it. Describing it. And saving it. And there it is, saved into the Tauranga community. There's a prompt to write a story about it. And so he does. Adding a title. Adding some text. Some introductory text. Fixing a spelling mistake. <laughs> hmm, and now he's going to add an image. He has the option of selecting some images that have been suggested by Digital New Zealand, going off to search Digital New Zealand to see if there's some relevant stuff, or uploading an item that he's contributed to that story. Then he's going to add a bit more information, format the story, Add some subheadings. Add a caption. Move the images around, make the story look the way that he wants it to. Resize some of those pictures. And insert a YouTube video. He saved a story, and now it's part of the Tauranga community. You can see it down the bottom. And he wonders who else might be out there in these communities. And there they are. So what do you think? If you'd like to find out some more and share your thoughts, then come along to the demo hall tomorrow at lunchtime and I'll um, be able to show you a little bit more about how it works. Um, you can register your interest with us at the Digital New Zealand stand and come along to the Digital New Zealand Day on Thursday. Maybe come and see us on the stand about that or email us directly at Digital New Zealand. And the next steps, we'll be continuing to build out the prototype, prototype including building out that metadata enrichment um, and with the reference group that I mentioned earlier, we'll be getting together to work out the next steps. Now we've got something to show um, you, you're welcome to contact one of them. And my time's up. Thank you very much.